Hello guys and welcome to this series of shell scripting. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can perform mathematical operations using double parenthesis and BC calculator. Along with that, we will discuss the difference between double parenthesis with dollar and without dollar. So let's begin. First of all, double parentheses are used to perform integer arithmetic operations. For example, addition, deletion, subtraction, finding the power of some numbers like that. But double parentheses cannot be used to perform arithmetic operations on floating numbers like 1.2 or 3.8. These are the floating numbers that have decimal point in them. To perform arithmetic operations on floating numbers, we will have to use the BC calculator. Now the question arises why we required the additional functionality of double parenthesis to perform the operations. Why can't our shell can do it? For example, if I create a file here with the name dp with the interpreter program as bash and I'll simply write here a equals to 1 plus 1 and after that I'll do here echo of dollar a. If I save it and give it executable permission, okay. And let me clear it and I'll again open our file and now if I try to execute it, we are expecting that the output that we need is 2 but it will give me output as 1 plus 1. Okay. Similarly, if I write here, let's say b equals to 3 minus 2 and I'll write here echo dollar b. In this case also, the output which will be written will be 3 minus 2 only, right. So here it is b is 3 minus 2. Similar to that, let's say I'll write here c equals to 1 and I'll write here d equals to dollar c plus 89. Okay. So, the d should have the value as 90 but if I do here echo dollar d, it will give me output as 1 plus 89. Right. 1 plus 89. Now, the problem with our shell is that it is incompatible to perform the arithmetic operations. So, our shell treats the mathematical operators like plus, minus, like a character. It does not have any specific arithmetic meaning to the shell. Okay. It will only be interpreted as a character, not as a mathematical operator. Now, to avoid this, we use the double parenthesis to perform the mathematical operations. For example, let me clear this one and I'll write here operation with double parenthesis, right? So I'll write here double parenthesis and give here dollar also same here double parenthesis and double parenthesis and after that in this operations also I'll provide it double parenthesis with dollar, okay? I'll save it and now if you see the output of DP script then you will see it is performing the mathematical operation. Now inside double parenthesis, we can use varieties of operators and it also supports C types operator. Those operators that are also used in C programming language like post increment operator, pre increment, right shift, left shift like those. Okay. Now if you don't know about the operators that are used in C programming language, then I had a dedicated playlist for that. You can check that out to understand different types of operators in detail. Okay. So, for an example, I can write here, let's say 2 to the power 5. Okay. So, if you want to find the power or something, then you can use here double asterisk. Right. So, if I save it and again execute our script, then you will see it will give me output as 32, which is 2 to the power 5. If you simply want to find the multiplication, then you can simply write here only one asterisk. And in this case, it will give me output as 10 here. So, here it is 10. Similarly, you can also assign the variables. For instance, I can write here double parenthesis and then I can write here let's say e equals to 25 or 26, right? And let me clear this all, okay? And I can write here after that, let's say print the value of e, okay? So, in this case, it will give me value as 26. Right. So, you can initialize variables inside of it also. Similarly, you can use post increment operators like e++ which increase the value of e or any variable by 1. Okay. So, if I save it and now if I again execute it, it will increment the value by 1 and provide the output as 27. Now, one more thing if you are using the variables inside double parenthesis, then it is good practice to not use dollar there to access the variable. For example, let's say I'll write here f equals to dollar 
then double parenthesis and inside the double parenthesis to access the variable i will write here simply e okay i am not writing here dollar so i'll write here e plus let's say 27 right and if i write here let's say echo dollar f then the output will be 54 for the f right because here the e values were, was becoming 27 then i am assigning the value of f with the 27 plus 27 that is 54 now double parenthesis is highly used when you want to perform the operations on the integers but when it comes to the floating point numbers then it gets failed for example suppose i want to find the output of 1.2 plus 2.8 right so i'll write here 1.2 plus 2.8 okay space is not mandatory here it's up to you whether you want to give it or not right so if i save it and execute our script then you will see it will give us error so if i execute it will see syntax error now similarly if i want to perform let's say 15 divided by 3 okay or i should write here 17 divided by 3 so the output that we need it is 5.6 but it will actually give me only 5 so it removes the decimal part and gives us the equivalent value okay so it cannot be used if you want to find the floating point result or you want to perform the operations on floating numbers in that case you have to use the bc calculator for example for the same operation you can write here g equals to dollar parenthesis I'm using here parenthesis because I want to execute some command, right? I'll write here echo, then scale equals to, let's say 2, right? And after that, I'll write here 17 divided by 3, okay? And I'll pass it to the BC calculator. I'll save the output in the G and I'll echo the dollar $G, okay? So let me save it. And now if I execute our script, then you will see it will give me output as 5.66 right so this particular scale variable tell us that after the decimal point how many integers you want to view i had set here to 2 so that is the reason after the decimal point we are getting here two integers okay if you set it to the one for instance i'll write here one then you will see only up till one integer it will be shown so only 5.6 Similar to that, let's say that I want to perform the addition on the floating numbers. So I can write here 1.3 plus 2.4, right? I'll save it and I'll again execute our script here. So it will give me output as 3.7, right? I can also store one value in a variable and then use here, right? For instance, I can write here Q equals to, let's say 2.7, right? And after that, I'll use here Q instead of writing here a particular floating number right so if i save it and then again execute our script it will give me output as 5.1 which is 2.7 plus 2.4 now the bc calculator isn't limited to the floating numbers it can also be used for the arithmetic integer operations okay it also have some advanced features like loops inside of it now if you want to dive into the bc calculator then i already have a dedicated video for the bc in one of the linux tutorial series you can check that out but the major point here is that for the arithmetic integer operations you can use parenthesis but for the floating point you have to use the functionalities like bc now after all this let's try to understand the difference between the dollar double parenthesis and normal parenthesis okay in these two so in the first case it only evaluates the expression that is written inside of it but it does not return any standard output for example if i write here let's say 1 plus 2 okay and if i save it and execute our script then nothing will be shown right but in the later case if i do here if i comment it and here if i write here 1 plus 2 then the result of the evaluation will be 3 and 3 will be written in this particular place okay so the output will be the error that the three command not found for instance let me save it and i'll again execute it then you will see in the line four it is saying three command not found okay in this particular case it is also returning the result of its evaluation so the result of the evaluation was three and then it was returning the value okay and after returning the value this entire statement was replaced with the 3 
okay and that's the reason it is giving here three command not found so let me give here another example for it let's say i'm writing here 1 plus 55 okay in this case it will give me error that 56 command does not found 56 command does not found right but in this in the first case if i write here no error will be shown because it is not returning us the result of the evaluation if i save it and i'll again execute then you will see no error is coming up okay so the question arises in which cases i should use double parenthesis without dollar and with dollar basically when you want to assign a variable with the value of some expression then you can use the dollar okay for example let's say i'll write here a equals to 1 plus 2 now in this particular case i am not using any variables outside the double parenthesis right so in this case i don't have to use the dollar but suppose if i'm writing here b equals to that is before the double parenthesis then i should use here dollar okay so in this case what will happen a will get assigned to the value of 3 right and b will be having the value of 56 right if i save it and again execute the script then you will see a is having 3 and b is having 56 so whenever you want to store the output of some expression to outside any particular variable in that case you can use dollar okay but this particular case we rarely used in our shell scripting why because for the same expression i can write here let's say double parenthesis and i'll write here c equals to 1 plus 55 right so in this case output of c will be same as b right so if i save it and again execute it then you will see the output is still 56 the point is this particular format you may not require most of the time okay since only double parenthesis can carry out your operations also remember that i can access the variables here for example i can write here a right so if i save it now the c will be holding the value as 59 one more thing about double parenthesis is about its exit status code so for exit status for double parenthesis remember that after the evaluation if the final output or the final result is the non-zero value in that case the exit status code will be zero and if it is zero then the exit status code will be one right for instance if i simply write here one plus one okay and i'll do here echo of dollar question mark to find its exit status code so in this case one plus one will give me equivalent to two and two is a non-zero value so for non-zero value exit status code will be zero okay so if i save it and execute our script it will give me zero but suppose if i write here one minus one okay so one minus one is zero so the exit status code in this case will be one okay so if i execute it then you will see it is one so keep this point in mind similarly if i write here let's say a equals to one plus one what should be the exit status code here one plus one will give me two and a will assign finally with the two okay so finally we have to check the value of the a so here a has the value of two and it will be non-zero so the exit status code will be zero okay if i execute it then you will see it is zero if i write here one minus one okay in this case the final value holded by the a is zero then it will be give us one because after the evaluation the result is zero you can also use the double parenthesis in conditions also for instance i can write here if double parenthesis and i can simply write here two greater than one okay and then i'll write here echo condition is true okay and i'll write here fee i'll save it and execute our script then you will see it is writing here condition is true you can also use variables here like i'll use here double parenthesis i'll write here a equals to let's say 45 and then i'll write here a is greater than one or then i'll save it and execute our script it will say condition is true notice that inside the double parenthesis i don't have to use the dollar okay and it is recommended to not to use the dollar because in some operators like where plus plus that is post increment operators you will encounter the errors other than the if else it is also highly used during the loops we will talk about the loops in the upcoming videos so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see in the next video